Hello friends, this video on body movements part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's talk about cockroach. It is a very common insect which we see. In fact, it, you can see it in your home also. So these are generally black or brown colored insects. They are seen in damp places so even inside your houses wherever you have damp areas like near the uh, bathrooms or near the kitchen wherever you have wet things being stored so there you tend to find cockroach in terms of food they are omnivorous that is they feed on both plant parts as well as animal parts so they eat tiny insects they also eat uh, left out food or they also eat plant products like leaves etc so they can consume any organic matter in that sense so when you look at their body so their body is also segmented so here also you can very distinctly see the segments on the body of a cockroach so you see here one two three four so the body is divided into segments like how it was in case of earthworm now overall the body can be divided into these prominent regions that is head, thorax and abdomen. So like in case of cockroach, like how in case of human beings also I told you that you have head, then you have thorax and then finally you have abdomen. So here also you will have head, then thorax and then finally the abdomen. From outside of the body it is covered by exoskeleton. The word exo means out. So on the outer side, skeleton which is which acts like a covering of the body that is called exoskeleton. So in case of uh, snail also, we saw that the shell, the shell which they carry over their body that acts as an exoskeleton. So here cockroach body also has an exoskeleton. Hardened plates of exoskeleton on each segment are called sclerites. So when you look at the uh, outer skeleton, you will see that small, small parts of that skeleton are connected to each other. So each of those small parts are called sclerites. So let us now talk about the parts of the cockroach which help it to move. So first let us have a look at the dorsal view. So dorsal means back. So from the back, how does a cockroach look like? So from the back, we can see the wings. So it has two pairs of wings. That is a total of four wings. So there are four wings and hind wings. So the four wings which are present towards the front and the hind wings are present towards the back. So the four wings act as a protective cover, protective in nature. So these are the four wings and the ones which are present at the back are called hind wings. So hind wings actually help them to fly, to fly, whereas the four wings just protect the hind wings. So that is their job. From the ventral view, when you look it from the front, that is when you look it from the lower side of the cockroach, this is the ventral view. So this is the dorsal view and this is the ventral view. So from here you would see the legs. So there are three pairs of appendages, that is fore leg, middle leg and hind leg. So these, this is the fore leg, this is the middle leg and this one is the hind leg. So all of these exist in pairs, so two, one pair of foreleg, one pair of middle leg and one pair of hind leg. So these legs, they also help them to move from one place to another. So when you look at cockroach, cockroaches can walk, they can fly. So for walking, they need these legs, for flying, they need the wings. Now the question is, what controls the movement of the legs and the wings? So definitely they are controlled by muscles. So the muscles which are present near the legs, they control the movement of the legs and the muscles of the breast control the movement of the wings. So these movement of the wings are controlled by the breast muscles. Now as the breast muscles uh, contract, they cause movement of the wings accordingly. And all the legs are controlled by the leg muscles. So therefore, when it comes to movement in a cockroach, we see that leg helps in walking, whereas 
breast muscles help in flying by moving the wings. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.